Hello family, greetings to you all and welcome back to my channel. I'm your brother Chief Lamashawiya Pasiwulana, also known as Prince Ayuku. Sending my peaceful and warmly greetings to you all wherever you are. How are you doing and how is our families at your side doing? Yeah, so I'm on the hunt of my animal's feed. <laughs> I'm hunting for my animal's feed. And uh, currently I'm buying the cassava pills to store it, you know, to feed the animals. So I need a whole lot of the cassava pills. So we are working on that. Keep watching. And please don't forget to subscribe, share with your family and friends, and give my videos a thumbs up. So as you can see, that's the cassava they are peeling. Uh -huh. That's a husband and a wife and their family doing business together. <laughs> The language we are speaking in the background is called Dagbanli language. Dagbanli language is the most dominant language in northern Ghana. It's been sp speaking by the Dagumba tribe. Tailoring. <laughs> That's a tailoring shop. They are busy working. Yeah, so today we are at a village in northern Ghana called uh, Zanzo. Zanzo uh, Zabzo. Yeah, so we are at a village called Zabzo Yapala. And uh, we are actually buying uh, cassava pills for our livestock. So we are here. Uh, so far, we got 50 bucks and we need more than 100 bucks. So we are still buying some more. Yeah, they. The main occupation of this uh, of the people in this village is uh, farming. Farming is the main occupation of the people in this village. So they farm cassava, yam, corn, guinea corn, soya beans, rice, uh, and some vegetables. So when this cassava pills is sold, when they sell the cassava pills, it actually belongs to the to the housewife. That's the woman. The man doesn't spend the money. It's the woman that spends it. <laughs> yeah. So that's why the woman is busily uh, peeling off the uh, the pills of the cassava. Because she knows money is coming. Yes, well. is very, very nice. They are living a very independent life. They live on their own. They do everything on their own. They farm. They get their food from their farm. And they make money from their farms. So that's one thing we have to know about village life. That's the self-sufficient life. They live in a, a self-sufficient lifestyle. And this is the firewood they used to cook, as you can see it in the background. So we are currently loading the uh, cassava pills we bought uh, on the farm tractor. Yeah, that is my farm tractor. That is what we use to carry all the animals uh, feed wherever we buy it.
Yeah, it's not easy being a livestock farmer. It needs um, extra hard work and resources. It's a lot of firewood. So normally every year the harvest time for the cassava is it starts from December, January, February, March up to April. So every year here in northern Ghana, that is what they do during the harvest season for cassava. So this is a family working together in their compound. So that is the cassava they dried here. So when they are peeling the cassava, they always dry it. The cassava is very useful. It is used to make fufu. It is used to make gari. And it is also used together with corn flour to prepare tizet. That is two zafi. And in Dagbali, we call that meal sam. And grandma is also busy working. I believe grandma will be around, uh, she will be on her 80s. Uh-huh. <laughs> This is a Metro Mars bus. I think they are traveling to either Accra or Kumasi. Zanzo Yepala is a village located uh, in the Savannah region. It is located in the Savannah region and is very close to Tamale. Um, it is on the Tamale Kumasi Highway. As you can see, the Tamale Kumasi Highway is right there. That's the Tamale Kumasi Highway. Hey, 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 former, 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 it's okay, former, former, former. Sorry, 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 sorry. Stop crying. <laughs> this is how they dry the cassava. Okay.
Ai meu pôr na nhã. So these are the cassava peels. When they peel it, this is how it is. So we're going to take off all of these things and then leave the peels, dry it very well, and then use it to feed our livestock. That is cattle, goats, and sheep. They all eat it. So nothing goes waste. Everybody, I mean, everything will be put in, into use. That is a very good use. And they're actually making money from the uh, cassava leaves, talking about the women. All right, so family. Uh -huh, you see the swag on the background. <laughs> you see the swag on the background. That is what life is. Everybody is happy here, working, spending good time together, and really, you know making some good progress this is where i'm going to end uh today's video thank you so much for coming to watch thank you so much for your time and thank you so much for always you know supporting my channel i appreciate you all on behalf of this lovely family uh, i say a very big thank you once again for your time your patience and for your support all the time i appreciate you all please don't forget to hit the like button Give my videos a very big thumbs up. Share with your families and friends and comment. If you have anything to ask, put it on the comment section. Thank you so much. Till we meet again, I'm your brother, Chief Lama Shewia Pansewulana, also known as Prince Ayoko, sending my peaceful and warmly greetings to you all. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.